My name is French Montana, and I'm here to tell you, go sell drugs, go shoot guns, go kill people, do all the right things so you can become somebody like me. Nah, I'm just joking, man. It's French Montana, you know, live over here, repping that bad boy, coke boys. Of course you love life, but there's a lot of fucked up shit about life. There's people that let you know the fucked up shit, and there's people that let you know the good shit. You know, you wanna, you wanna, you know, you wanna um, hear something positive, go buy a Kirk Franklin CD. You wanna talk about God and stuff, go get, you know what I'm saying? I hate it when somebody come and just try to knock, knock, knock my hustle, you know what I'm saying? Cause, cause I'm different, cause if I say something about somebody and they say something back, I'm going to see them. So it's different, you know what I'm saying? So I can't, I can't even play with somebody that I think, cause I take it different, I take it to a whole other level. I think that's, that's, that's been my thing. I mean, it's bad to say it, but I think that um, negativity spreads faster. Nobody want to hear you say, you know, you know, today was a good day, you know, you know, everything is in peace, you know, my car here. No, people want you to say, look, fuck that, sh I fucking shot that motherfucker down the block, and that motherfucker over there sniffing coke, I'm gonna go tell the police on his ass. People want to, like, people want that negative shit. They just want, like, want to hear it, you know, but there's people, like, that come out and say, Bitch, bitches ain't shit but hoes and tricks and sell 10 million copies. You know, as long as, you don't, you don't go too far with it. Coke Boys is like, it's like, it's like, it's like a drug on music. Like when you listen to the music, I want you to kind of get a high, get, get chills. That's 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 what the name come from. Look, Coca Cola. Nobody said they they talking about some coke. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's the same thing. You know, man, fake, fake ass like this. Yeah, it it'll, it'll break your back. No bounce back, it's like you hitting a wall, like this. You know what I'm saying? You gotta get slow motion on them. You can't pound. No way, not ever. <laughs> not ever, you'll, you'll break your spinal. <laughs> the most expensive thing in my closet is a mink. It's a, um, a red fox mink that I paid about 20 grand for. That's when Puff call you for the white party. <laughs> I love when people get creative with their jewelry, you know, like just not wearing it because you just want to have jewelry on because jewelry is, is, is a fashion, you know. That's why when I see somebody with a nice chain, I'm like, man, compliment, you know what I'm saying? This is this, this is the cool one right here. You know when I said on Shot Call, I said um, LV logo even on the chain. There's the chain I was talking about, and that's the LV logo. Cost me a pretty penny for this little thing right here. Um, this is a Bentley watch. It's kind of been my favorite since I seen, um, I forgot who the first person I seen. I think it was Waka. You know, the pinky ring, can't forget the pinky ring. My favorite is this. Joe Montana. You know, it's kind of like a jersey, it's um, 3D. You know, I can see you through here. I mean, go to your jeweler. If you're spending that much money on your jewelry, I. You know, the least you could do is sit down with him and come up come up with something that nobody did before or, you know, just something that's in style. You know, like the um, Arabian bees? I don't want to give, they might watch it and try to go do it before me. <laughs> you know, so, but um, the Arabian bees, but I'm gonna have them diamonds. But you know how they have like the strings coming out? You know, the, the praying bees, I'm gonna have string coming out, but I'm gonna have like, I'm gonna have like five of them on it. And it's gonna be, that's gonna be iced out. It's gonna be iced out with the little strings attached to it, stuff like that. I just get, you know, do stuff, little stuff like that. I think um, what I want to see gone is, it's just that other rap. I don't know what it's called. It's the other rap. It's like, there's rap and there's other rap, you know, and they got, they got different names for it. Like, you know, one day they call it, you know, backpack rap. One day they call it, you know, computer. I don't know, I don't, I don't know what it be, but I think that, People forget the biggest, the biggest artist that came out of New York was gangster rap. It was nothing else, from Mob Deep to Wu Tang, the Big Pun, to 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 Biggie, to to everybody you can name. It was gangster rap. So when when like all all the new, I mean it's cool because it's a whole different lane for it. But for me, as a, as a, my opinion. I feel like rap is, is is gangster rap, and sometimes you can switch it up and do what you gotta do. But I feel like that's what made New York. That's what made the game. It started like that, and that's what it is. See, with me, I respect everybody hustle. 
if 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 it works for them, I I congratulate them, you know, cause it ain't it ain't easy being a rapper, man. You get you get you get crucified, you know. So I, I respect everybody, like like a lot of people be hating on on like a little B. Like I like little B stuff, cause he's different, you know what I'm saying. So a lot of people might be like, yo, little B is whack. I'd be like, no, that's his style, that's him. So like he'll do a video and just do one take and they call it like a video. Like people be like, is you serious? I'd be like, that is dope, man. That's hot, cause what you going to do? The same thing everybody doing? Have a fandom in your video and, and you know what I'm saying? So I, I I love I love people that's creative and got their own swag. I'm saying that's, that's that's what I like. I just did a mixtape, a whole mixtape with Flock. I did a whole mixtape with 36 Mafia. I'm featuring everybody, make say like I'm my own mixer. Got the Coke Boys movement. I'm working with everybody, you know. And um, and now people was like, damn, he got hot working with other people. So everybody trying to do it now, like. But I think that's 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 when New York. Everybody had an ego in New York. They want to see Jada Kiss do a song with Flocka. They want to see, you know, Jay Z do a song with Three Six Mafia. But people just want to try a new thing. They're tired of the same thing. That's all. That's what I think. Stop, stop wearing tight jeans. You know what I'm saying? Stop stop having these little kids going to school looking like girls. Stop wearing all this funny shit. You know what I'm saying? That's all it is, man, because the fashion been fucked up for the, in, the, in the rap game. And stop, you know, stop being weirdos. That's what I can tell you. I'm feeling, um, what's that dude named Bronson? Action Bronson. I like ASAP Rocky. I like Fred the Godson. That's probably pretty much that I like of the new rappers coming out of New York. Now everything good. We was working, man. Shout out to um Puff, shout out to Hall Pierre, the whole bad boy staff, Jason, everybody. Um, we just working, you know, shout out to Interscope, shout out to Jimmy Iveen, shout out to everybody. You know what I'm saying? Um, we're working on the album. I've been working with Rick Ross for like the past two weeks. Cause him and Puff executive producing my album. So me and Puff got in too. So I'm just working on it. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to the whole Coke Boys. You already know what it is. Look out for the album. Excuse my French dropping the end of the summer. You know what I'm saying? Look out for Coke Boys 3 dropping. Look out for everything we got coming out, man. Love. Appreciate y'all for having me. Comma TV.